fresh. Exactly. Mmm, the smell. I just love it. And I don't really like cucumbers. <laughs> but I love the smell. Makes me feel so good that somebody's gonna get the sandwiches that I packed today. These sandwiches is bringing back so many memories because it was a client that came in and said, why aren't we doing peanut butter and jelly sandwiches anymore? Everybody don't eat meat. I'm like, I'm a vegetarian. I'm like, absolutely. So I went to downstairs and I said, we need to come back to peanut butter and jelly because people want protein and they, they want other options. And now we're doing peanut butter and jelly again. So I'm so excited about that. Today is my one year anniversary here at Glide and it has been such an amazing year and I always say this is glide and glide magic and this year has been, meant so much to me I've met so many amazing people the board of trustees my my team across the board all three doors we got the church door our center for social justice and all of our programs has been amazing it's all about a love agenda for me since I started I've talked about a love agenda and that to me means meeting people where they are providing the services and programs that people can really access and use, right? Miss hey. Regina, yay! <laughs> my anniversary! Happy anniversary, honey. Thank you. Oh my God, Glide is all about the people. For the people is one of our, one of our basic tenets. You know, I think every day when I come to work, what feeds me is interacting with, my, with, with staff interacting with community, but the team that we have on board, the love we have for each other, it's just infectious. I am so happy and honored to work for an organization where unconditional love is one of our requirements, right? It's one of our requirements. So I appreciate this, the love that I've received this entire year from the community, from all of my team. You know, being in a church, it makes me a little emotional because uh, when I first started last year, I had about six months with Cecil and he would come to church on Sundays and I would go visit him where he lived and he said, Gina, you're the soul of Glide. And I didn't know what that meant. <laughs> and after the first year, I really realized what that meant. You know, holding people up, lifting people up, being a part of this church community. I still see Cecil sitting on the side of the pew in his wheelchair and just smiling and trying to sing and being a part of this whole community. And I was truly honored that I had time with him before he, he moved um, on. And I never met Jan, but her spirit is here. Jan and Cecil, are, are, their legacy lives on through me. It lives on through our work. It lives on through programs like Community Ambassadors and Safety and Support in the Walk-In Center and our meals programs. It lives. And we want San Francisco to see it and hear it. And it's loud. Hunger is loud, poverty is loud, justice is loud. We wanna make sure that we stay loud, Glide stays loud. So San Francisco can know that we're here, but we need to be the change that we wanna see in our city. And we need to do it all together. So I love the loudness of Glide. I'm loud because of Glide, right? Cecil was loud. We wanna make sure that we, we um, Keep that loudness going because a healthy glide is a healthy San Francisco. And that's what my first year has been all about. Bringing that energy, bringing that magic, bringing those miracles that happen every day here at Glide when we see people on the street. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Glide.